Hello, hey, my name is Aisha and I pray that this message finds you well and full of the beautiful love and abundant light of the one infinite creator. So in today's video, I will be talking about receiving guidance through dreams and dream interpretation. So a little bit of quick background. I've been into interpreting my dreams for some years now. Like when I say years, I mean like maybe over 10 years. Um, I actually have, like I had done a, like a dream notebook or a dream journal where I would go through like every night because I'm like an avid dreamer. Like I have very vivid dreams and I'm able to remember them. And so I would write them down. And back then I would like look up like symbology and like what do these things mean and all this fantastic stuff when it comes to dreams and trying to figure out what they mean and just trying to interpret dreams. So, um, that's that, you know, my, a little bit of background about dream interpretation. So recently, and by recently, I mean within like the last past few days, I've been receiving guidance from just outside sources, other individuals. And I got the idea from Mark Houghton, shout out to that guy. Um, super cool dude advise you to look him up I might even leave leave a link but um, he suggested asking questions um, to your subconscious in order to I forget what he said about asking questions but basically you know in order to like get some sort of oh as far as manifesting goes um it was suggested to like ask questions or like you know um say you trying to manifest a house and it's like how do i get a house type that type type stuff in order to like receive you know um guidance on getting what it is that you want and so that but that just doesn't apply to like manifesting things it applies to a lot of other things because when you go to sleep um that dream state is effectively your subconscious and astral plane and there's like a whole lot of other stuff that goes on to with that but that's not what this video is about um so i was led to going into wanting to ask um some questions because i needed some guidance and the first thing was just kind of like i was feeling a little unhappy and I know why I was feeling unhappy, but I still couldn't get out of feeling unhappy. And I was feeling unhappy because I am currently going through a cleanse. Um, shout out to Latavia Austin. Check her out. She's super, super dope. Um, it, per her advice, recommendation or whatever, um, to do a certain type of cleanse. If you watch her videos, then you know what the cleanse is, but I'm not going to get into all of that. But essentially, that cleanse, like, a lot of emotions come out, you know, like, a lot of latent things. So, I mean, for the past few weeks, I mean, I've just been as happy as can be. Just, you know, my emotions have been, like, really well and all that good stuff. Um, but just these past, like, just this one day, and it was yesterday, um, I just was like, yo, like, I'm just not... Like, I can't get myself to be unhappy. Like, how you know, I want to choose to be happy, but I just couldn't. And like I said, I know why, and, you know, it was more of a, like I said, it was a cleansing reaction, so to speak. But I still wanted to, you know, inquire about how to do that. So what I did was, and this is getting to the dream interpretation part. What I did was I wrote down some questions right before I went to bed, like, right, 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 like, I mean, I was, like, tired, like, um, and if you watch my meditate, my video about what is meditation, I knew that that was a perfect time to do it, because I was, um, switching frequencies and going into a different frequency that would allow me to better communicate with my subconscious, so as I'm, like, sleep, you know, feeling tired and all that stuff, I, like, I write down my questions, which I'm going to share with you, and then I'm also going to share with you, um, my dream and then what I got from that okay 
So I asked a few questions. If this is something that you're thinking of doing, I would definitely suggest only starting out with like one or two questions, especially if one, you're not an avid dreamer, like if you don't have dreams frequently, or if you're struggling with, you know, interpreting dreams, um, then I wouldn't ask too many questions because um, I, I know from just past experiences that when um, you have like segments of dreams, like if you're just dreaming and there's like one part of the dream and then all of a sudden it seems like it switched, was well, literally because that is like a different part. Like they may be connected in some way, but you know, those segments are like essentially they like they go to different things in case in point what you know what I'm about to share with you so I asked five questions um I don't know that I necessarily received the answer to all but I only remember two segments of my dream but my five questions were I started out with how can I be happier how can I be healthier how can I enhance my intuition exponentially how can I manifest my desires? And this one is really deep. Um, and I know I didn't get the answer to this, but essentially, who am I? Which I kind of know the answer to that question, but I wanted to see what my subconscious was going to say to me. Okay. So those are my five questions that I asked. Um, again, the whole, how can I be happier is because like I said, going through a cleansing reaction and I really just wanted to be able to get, you know, something from that that I could use and when I tell you it was the greatest thing ever although I think a lot of things are great so <laughs> it was pretty awesome but anyway so um, my dream so I'll go into explain my dream now and which each one relates to well the one I know for sure because there's only two I'm only going to share two segments of my entire dream the first part um, directly correlates with the how can I be happier so um, the first thing I can remember is that I'm like traveling with this negatively oriented entity. And I'm just going to say it like that because it was like a person, but I just, you know, my feeling knew that this person was negatively oriented. And so we're like, I'm like in a car, like in a backseat and they're driving do, 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 do. and dude is driving. And then he gets to this, what looks like a portal of some sort and I knew, and even though like the surroundings weren't like malicious or anything, you know, it wasn't like, you know, what people, I think everybody has their own perception of like what hell is like. And for me, it was just like, there was like some people around, like as we were driving down this road leading to, towards this portal, like the people, like I knew they were like negatively oriented and the portal, although it looked nice in a way, but I just knew like, you know, that my feeling knew that it was like, oh no. And so as we getting closer, I was like, oh, hold on, excuse me, sir. Like, and I was just like that, like, excuse me. No, like I'm choosing not to go this way. I don't want to go this way. Like, I don't, yeah, like I'm not feeling this. And then as I'm like getting out the car and moving away, like somehow I magically ended up out of the car, but I'm like, thank y'all, you know, thanking everybody around. Like, I love y'all, you know, thank you, but I'm okay. Like, I don't, I, this is not what I want to choose to be. I'm just, I'm a skirt on out of here and cut to the next scene. I'm with this more like positively oriented person and I'm kicking in with this person. We're like going through what seems like a, a museum of some sort. I don't even know. Um, but it was cool. Like we vibing, like we dancing, like in sync and everything. It was just like, everything was cool. Everything was just nice. Everything was, but lo and behold, this is the kicker y'all. This is the kicker. The negatively oriented person was like in tow the whole time. Like they was just like right there, like hanging, hanging on. And, but I didn't feel no type of way. Like you know, I just was like, oh, like, this is just this person, like, or whatever, just, you know, just hanging out because essentially that it was, a, it was a part of me. Like that is a part of me, like the, the positively oriented side is a part of me and the negative, but I'm not going to give in to that part. And so that was what I got from the dream was that I can choose 
not to go that negative route. I can choose to go that positive route. And that negative is always going to be right there, but I don't got to pay it no attention. And when I do, it's to be say, thank you. I love you, but this is not for me. Like, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want you. I want this over here. Like, this is great over here. And so that was great. Like it was just, and so I've carried that with me throughout the day. This was last night, mind you, that I had this dream. And so I've carried that without me through the day. And like, every time I thought about that, like, yes, I can choose to be happy. I was just like, that is amazing. Right? Like that is amazing. All right. Next going on to the next part. Cause I don't want to make this too long. Um, the next part is a little trippy, yo. So, <laughs> again, I got it written down. That's why I keep looking down. So, um, essentially, so I was in a situation where I had needed help, right? And I was needed help getting somewhere, okay? And I wanted to ask people for help. And as I'm, like, asking for help, I'm, like, I get the feeling that the people who are around me, not that they were negatively oriented, but the people who are around me were people who were like, essentially, they were infected. And I'm going to say that because that's what, like in, in the dream. That's what it was like. It was like they were like they had gotten some vaccine or whatever. Not to, you know, talk about anything that's going on now, but it was like and that whatever they were infected with, whatever they got injected with allowed them to be controlled by whomever i don't know who it was right and and these people who were you know controlled they were regular people and they could you know they had free will but not really and it was like they was you know they could be you know they could do as they wanted but as soon as a trigger word or whatever um like uh what's that movie that marvel movie where they was like um you know, like it was like a phrase or something. And as soon as somebody or something said it, like they would click into action. And so the phrase, whatever the phrase was, um, triggered them to like, be like, like on some covert sabotage type stuff. Like they immediately started like coming towards me, like, but not in like, you know, like a malicious way. I was like, Oh, you need some help. But it was like, no, I don't need no help from you. And so then I went and I was like, is there anybody who did not get the shot? Like, is there anybody, you know, and of course these people, you know, I mean, but they, they had the, they had the, they had to be honest. Okay. Well, no, not really. But uh, you know, er nobody who got the shot, who, didn't say anything but then there was one person was like oh i didn't get it and i'm like oh okay and so i'm like well you know can i get a ride but then you know as i'm like you know getting closer to this person i'm like something's not right and so this person was infected with like a higher level type thing where they had they could lie so to speak or they could bend the truth or whatever and and i'm just like <sighs> Next thing I know, I realized that now I done got infected, but it wasn't like a bad thing. It was on some, um, it was on some, uh, what's the name of the movie? What's the name of that movie? My favorite movie, y'all. It's my favorite movie. It is my favorite movie. The trilogy Matrix. Okay. It was out the, it was like out the Matrix where it was like, in order for me to help myself, I had to get infected with whatever it was that they was, I had to get the shot and but my my purpose was to like reprogram the effects of that and but the only way I could do that was to get it myself right and so like I couldn't do it from the outside and so after I get it it was like it all all of all of a sudden it just everything turned into like computer type a computer type situation um, which I will be using a computer analogy like a lot later on when I talk about like. Um, like when I get back into talk about meditation and like reprogramming the mind and all that stuff, like I would be using computers as an analogy, but anyways, so, um, my subconscious already recognizes that. So after I get infected and I'm like, okay, so I'm actually supposed to be, I was, it was supposed to happen. I was supposed to get infected. I had to go through and start like, you know, trying to do the reprogram or whatever. And that was the end of that part right there. I did not end up being able to to do the reprogramming because there was something more that I needed to learn how to do in order to do it effectively. So it wasn't like um, like it was a failed mission or whatever. It was like I learned that one, in order for me to do anything about it, I had to go through whatever it was. And after I did that, I needed to learn more in order to be able to do that. So that 
particular one, that answered my question on how can I enhance my intuition exponentially. And I'm so excited about that because it's really reassuring to know that I'm on the right path, like I'm making the right decisions. It's just there's more that I got to learn in order to be able to do what it is that I want to do. So with that being said, this was really exciting. I really love this. Tonight, I'm going to do it again. I don't know that I'm going to do another video about it, but I really just wanted to get this out there as far as, you know, how it works and that it does work and that I encourage anybody and everybody to do it. Because when I tell you this is amazing, like, I don't know what I expected, but it, like, it, it was great. It was great. That's, that's, just, that's all I can say was that it was great. Um, yes. So, if you have any questions, peel... If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I am open to all types of encouragement, feedback, what have you. Um, anyways, thank you. I appreciate you being here. And that is all I have for now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.